What's up, everybody? Welcome to our YouTube channel called Say Adventures. Um, my name is Alexi, and this is my wife, Sarah. And today we're gonna uh, tell you a little bit about how we do all, our, all of our tripping, sleeping in the car, stealth camping, and a setup. So one thing that we noticed when we first decided that we wanted to do some stealth camping, boondocking, is all of the setups were extremely expensive. If you get on YouTube and you look at a lot of people, they're very blessed to have these amazing setups. We did not have the budget for that. And so we wanted to create something that we could afford and also something that we could tell you guys that you could afford. So this is kind of the introduction of our budget-friendly boondocking, camping, traveling the country for two right. weeks. One of the benefits of boondocking, sleeping in your car, is you don't have to worry about animals bothering you. Let's say you're in a tent and a bear comes up, it's pretty dangerous. You don't have to worry about bugs, animals, and you are in a metal cage if someone that tries to come and bother. So one question we get a lot is where do we like to camp and how do we find our camp spots? So we're not being sponsored by anybody, but we use an app called Campendium. It's a free app you can download and that's fine where we find most of our dispersed campsites. It will tell you if you have cell signal there, it will have reviews, it will have pictures. But most of the places that we stay are state campgrounds are our favorites. We also like staying at rest stops when those rest stops allow you to stay there, as well as Bureau of Land Management land and National Forests. So those are kind of the places that we like. So the type of camping that we do is a type of boondocking light camping. Uh, we don't actually go out away from society too off far. the grid too yep. far for several days. We could if we packed a little different, but what we're gonna show you today is more of a light setup. This is something that we would do if we were going to be sleeping in the car, maybe a night or two. Uh, we're still gonna go get food at restaurants. We're gonna be around grocery stores. Um, really, this is more a setup for if you wanna sleep uh, without paying for a hotel. Right, your car is your hotel, so. We yeah. have lived like this in this light camping setup up to two weeks, very yeah. comfortably. And it's, uh, and it's pretty easy. Yeah. All right, so let me introduce you to our Toyota 4Runner um, 2020 TRD for a premium edition. Um, so as far as the external upgrades goes, we have a leveling kit in here. Um, it's two inches at the front, one inch in the back, just to give a little bit more clearance to the car when you over landing and do some off-roading. Um, we of course upgraded our tires to the all-terrains. Um, still give you pretty good gas mileage, um, but uh, they're pretty good to going over gravel, sand, dirt, or whatever you might find yourself doing. Um, we got a little bit bigger size on the tires um, than original because we actually wanted to keep original rims to um, save money. As far as the tire setup, it's cost us about $800 to swap all four. And then um, as far as the leveling kit, it was about $200 total. So we're currently in the process of replacing um, running boards because we did damage our old ones. Um, they were about $200, so I just got another one for about $150. Um, and they're low profile. And the reason you need them for is just basically for convenience, but also if you wanna throw some stuff in your roof basket, which is another little upgrade that you need on your car for extra storage and space. This is a roller roof basket. It's cost about 150 bucks. I think $170 I found it for. Uh, pretty easy to install as well. Um, now also whole car is been tinted. So we got 35% legal tint here in Tennessee. Uh, but it is a ceramic tint, so it prevents all the heat coming in the car, especially if you are um, spending, sleeping in the car and you go and travel to the hot areas as well. Um, as far as the front, there's only a couple upgrades that we had and we only did our TRD Heritage Grill. That's purely for just aesthetics. Um, you don't have to replace those at all. And the bug guard, I do recommend just because on the long road trips, you do have a lot of bug hidden your car. Okay, so let's talk about a feature that's super important if you're planning on boondocking, which is what we do up to two weeks at a time. So you're going to need covers over all of your windows. That's going to prevent you from having people looking in at you when you're getting dressed, when you're sleeping, and basically prevent anyone from knowing that you are inside. So I bought this material on Amazon. I think I paid about $20 for it. It's just a sunshade, super simple material. It's got some padded insulation in between. You can spend hundreds of dollars on something like this online or you can just make it yourself. And how I made it is I actually just pressed this material up against my window, pushed it in, traced it with a pencil, pulled it down and cut it out. And I made that for all the back windows. I made it for our front windows and 
all of our side windows, even our cute little slices. So another necessity for us when we're boondocking is to make sure that we have covers that go over our windows. This will prevent mosquitoes and bugs from flying in. It also prevent people from noticing that our windows are down when they are down. So this was about, I guess it was under $20 on Amazon. Super easy, super simple to find. You can even make them if you were crafty enough. But all you do is you slide it over top. You pull it down, this elastic will keep the bugs out and you can roll this window almost down completely. And no one know you're inside and no bugs will get inside. So let's talk about the most necessary, but not the most luxurious thing to talk about. This is our urinal. Um, it comes with attachments to make it easier for everybody, but that way you don't have to leave the car. This is our unsung hero, literally pulls most of the weight on our road trips. This is our rechargeable fan and it is amazing, especially if you're one of those situations where you can't roll down the window. But we keep this puppy running all night long, super affordable, less than $20 on Amazon again and it keeps the circulation in the car. Fantastic. So this is our Hulkman. I'm not exactly sure how much we spent on Amazon for this. $80. Like $80? Yeah, I'd say about $80. This thing's amazing. It can jumpstart your car. We don't really use it for that often. What we use this for is recharging all of our devices. We keep it plugged into our fan while we're sleeping and it keeps our fan charged as well. Um, absolutely necessary. Highly recommend you get one. Okay. All right. So this is our rechargeable lantern. We use this every time we sleep at night. It's fantastic for bright lights. Let's say you're going out into the wild, you need something bright. It also goes a little bit darker. This is what we use when we're inside and we're actually boondocking, not too bright. And there's also a function here for if you're stuck on the side of the road or if you're trying to flash someone down. Uh, super important, absolutely vital, totally rechargeable. It lasts forever, less than $20. So we like to carry other types of personal protection, but if you are familiar with your gun laws, feel free to carry an arm if you're doing it legally. But we have bear spray. That's super important. Highly recommend that you get some. This is a flashlight, but always really good for whacking someone on the head. And this is our machete. Not only do we have a little knife here for food prep and little cutting reasons, this machete can be used to dig holes if you need to use the restroom outside and for protection. So let's talk a little bit about our sleeping arrangements. A lot of people ask us, how do you sleep in the back of the car comfortably? And I'm about to show you. So if you're familiar with the 4Runner, you'll know that there's about a three inch difference once you drop your seats between your seat and your trunk space. How we fix this, now you can get online, you could spend hundreds of dollars, or you can have an amazing husband like mine, and he'll build you a platform. Not that hard, let me show you. So here's our platform. If I lift it up here, come on in. You can see we have some two by fours and this is three quarter inch plywood. And then this is just really affordable boat fabric. We fabricated it all with uh, staples and screws. You just put these down, put your plywood on top, wrap it with your carpet. I think it was three quarter inch and two two by fours and we got three inches right there. So I'll show you now that we have it flat, how we actually sleep comfortable and what our mattress looks like. So if you come in here, you can see we have our mattress stacked. This is a three-tiered mattress. I got this on Amazon for under $200. I paid extra to get six-inch foam. Highly recommend you do that as well. This is how easy our setup is. So this sits right up here against our seats. Total clearance. You can see out through the back window, so it's perfectly safe. All you have to do is grab your top mattress and pull and push it into place. We're 100% flat. And 100% cozy. So this mattress was under $200 on Amazon. It's of course not custom to fit a 4Runner because they never are. Again, you could spend hundreds of dollars getting something custom made for you with a 4 of a 4Runner or you could do it yourself. So let me show you what we did. This panel was just fine. It fit perfectly in the 4Runner. So did the top panel where we kind of came into an issue was our middle uh, mattress panel. We took it out of this material took a bread knife and cut it down to fit between our wheel wells. Voila, you have a custom mattress for under $200. So this is called the Sleep and Go. It is not sponsored, maybe one day. But the Sleep and Go is fantastic. It is an all-in-one sleeping system. It's pretty well insulated. We have slept in this in 30 degree temperatures and done great. We've also slept in this in 90 plus degree temperatures and it was great. So it keeps you cool and it keeps you warm. I don't know how it does it. 
<laughs> but we love it. It's super easy. You pull this out, you lay it out. It's essentially a sleeping bag. And when you're done, you roll it up and it's in one handy dandy little case. All right, so how we got ourselves some extra space right here. If you're familiar with a Forerunner, when these seats are up, you also have a seat on the bottom. So how you would get this into position is you would lift the bottom seat up, it would sit right here, and then you would lay this down. And the problem is you're left with a huge chunk of seat right here. It blocks your air conditioning ducts and it blocks your USB cables. So just a couple of bolts and you lift those guys out and now you have all of this space right here. And when you actually lay flat, you could fit someone up to six foot two pretty comfortably. And that would be it. So thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate your time here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for if more future. If you have future. any uh, questions about our setup, just leave a comment below. We'll try to answer those best we can. Um, but we appreciate you watching us and we hope that this has been helpful for you for setting up a budget-friendly boondocking situation. Thank you. Thanks guys.